WWF, what the world is watching. Strap yourself in as the Birdman Coco Beware goes up against the man who may well be the next World Wrestling Federation champion, the One Man Gang. Nikolai Volkov will be in action. And the magnificent Morocco is here. We will see the natural Butch Reed. And then from there, the Hart Foundation will be in tag team competition. And one lucky lady is in for a rude awakening. The big Russian Nikolai Volkov going up against George South to kick us off this week on the Superstars of Wrestling. How about it, McMahon? One woman in the crowd here tonight is going to get a rude awakening, a kiss from ravishing Rick Rude. Indeed, uh, that's scheduled to happen a little later on. But as for right now, Nikolai Volkov in charge against George South. Shoulder tackle in the corner. That's 300 pounds coming right at you. There's that bear hug. Ring the bell.
Nikolai Volkov victorious. Let's go now to Sean Mooney, who is standing by in the event center with details on the World Wrestling Federation's return to the Spectrum in Philadelphia this coming Saturday. Philadelphia, this Saturday night, the World Wrestling Federation returns to the Spectrum. And in the main event, the World Wrestling Federation champion, Hulk Hogan, will defend his title against the gargantuan one-man gang. Well, following the one-man gang's unprovoked assault on the Italian Stallion last week on Wrestling Challenge, World Wrestling Federation President Jack Tunney has issued the gang with a $10,000 fine. This is what the gang and his manager, Slick, have had to say. Yo! Who does this man think he is? $10,000? Yo, that's a lot of money! Especially for a first offense. And everybody knows you ought to be able to get away with anything the first time. <laughs> well, do you want to threaten this man, dude? Well, let me tell you something. He's the most threatening individual in the ring today, Jack. <laughs> The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line when the macho man Randy Savage defends against Dr. D, David Schultz. This Saturday night at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as Dr. D, David Schultz challenges the macho man Randy Savage. Well, I would have to go with Elizabeth. That's this Saturday night, the Philadelphia Spectrum. Macho Man Randy Savage versus Dr. D. David Schultz. The Intercontinental title on the line. All three World Wrestling Federation Championships will be decided as tag team champions, the British Bulldogs, defend against the new Dream Team. All right, this Saturday night, the World Wrestling Federation returns to the city of brotherly love. I'm talking about Philadelphia and the Spectrum and the World Tag Team titles will be on the line as champions, the British Bulldogs, defend against my guests at this time, the new dream team of Dino Bravo and Greg the Hammer Valentine. And gentlemen, what an opportunity this is for you and Greg Valentine. I know you've been there before. I've been there before, and the only reason I'm not still there is because I had a loser for a partner. For years, I carried Brutus Fruitcake on my back. I carried him to the world titles, and I made him a rich man. Imagine what I can do now that I've got myself a real partner. British Bulldogs, we're coming to get the belts that you never won. Brutus Fruitcake lost them. All right, Dino Bravo. I must say that myself and many others were shocked and disgusted by your actions. What you two men did to Brutus Beefcake. You saw the so-called loyalty of this man, Greg Valentine. What makes you think he will be any more trustworthy for you? This man is a loyal man. He stayed loyal to Beefcake for years, even when he didn't deserve it. Now he has a partner worthy of being called the Dream Team, British Bulldogs. We're coming for those belts. In a battle of the Giants, Big John Stud to meet the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre, the former Giant, we all know why you disappeared for months from the World Wrestling Federation. It's because you were running scared of the true giant in professional wrestling, Big John Stud. The WWF isn't big enough for the both of us, Andre, and you're not big enough to step into the ring against a real giant in Philadelphia. Mike Rotunda of the U.S. Express will meet the newest member of the Bobby Heenan family, ravishing Rick Rude. In a tag team encounter, the Bushwhackers to meet Bobby Heenan's Islanders. Olympic strongman Ken Patera will go one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Also in tag team action, the Hart Foundation to meet the shadows. That's this Saturday night at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. And fans, we are closing in on a sellout, so act now to avoid disappointment. This contest is scheduled for one fall. 
Introducing Coach from Chattanooga, Tennessee, weighing 245 pounds, Paul Watley. Boy, Slick's really putting together quite a stable, isn't he? No doubt about it. But Pez Watley's the one on the offensive in the early going in this contest. Stupid move. And the Slickster must be feeling pretty excited right about now. His jewel in the crown, as it were, the one-man gang, is just days away from his shot at the World Wrestling Federation champion, Hulk Hogan. I'm calling it now. We'll see a new champion crowned in Philadelphia. You're always so quick to write off the Hulkster, and he always proves you wrong. We'll see. the one-man gang the jewel in Slick's crown, but the natural isn't chopped liver, you know. Oh, believe me, I know exactly how impressive this man Butch Reed is. If the natural does have a weakness, perhaps it is flexing his muscles when he should be pressing home the advantage on his opponents. Look at him, McMahon. Who can blame him? Well, if he'd have gone for the pin instead of posing, he might well have picked up the victory. Look at the raw power. Highly impressive. Well, I met this lady and 
I told her quite a story, said I'd love her forevermore. But the trouble is I tell the same old story to every girl that walks through the door. You see the slick start talking at your money. It's time now for the moment I know you have been waiting for, Jesse. Let's go now to Craig DeJoy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, Ravishing Rick Reed, along with his manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan. All right, Mr. Rood, Mr. Heenan, last week you promised that you, Mr. Rood, would select one very lucky lady from this capacity crowd and kiss her on national television. Ravishing Rick Rude. You know, it's pretty obvious just to look at me that not only do I have the best body in the World Wrestling Federation, that not only am I the sexiest man in the World Wrestling Federation, but I am, in fact, the sexiest man alive. And to all the out of shape, fat, ugly, so-called men here tonight, and those watching at home as far as your old ladies are concerned, every night. She's got her eyes closed tight, and there are sweet thoughts of ravishing Rick Rude dancing through her head. I can't believe he said that. Situation. Just look at this man. Take a look at him. Every single woman in the crowd is begging, is praying that she will be the lucky one to experience the thrill of her miserable life here tonight. The truth is none are worthy. What does he mean by that? I have something for you, Ravishing Rick. Are you ready for a rude awakening to give to some lady? I think I am, Bobby. <laughs> well, I have handpicked a lady this evening. And she will come up here right now. Now there's one thing about this lady, and she can attest to this. Come here, Judge. You have never seen a man quite like ravishing Rick Rude, have you? You are not a harlot and a person of all moral standing, are you? That's correct. Yes. Enjoy. What do we have to do, though? Look at this. Oh, oh, look at she's passing out again. Big man, look at, look at, there's a girl taking a picture with her. He can be there. This is too much. Let's get out of here. You know, I like Rude because Rude reminds me of me. Yeah, we'll be back as we continue with more World Wrestling Federation action. Stay with us. Oh, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, weighing 282 pounds, Iron Mike Dunn. His partner from Brooklyn, New York, weighing 248 pounds, the Brooklyn Brawler.
Talk about competition. That's exactly what we have here in the World Wrestling Federation, especially if you want to talk about the tag team scene. And right now we are looking at one of the premier duos in the World Wrestling Federation. I'm talking about the Hitman and the Anvil of the Hart Foundation. Hey, Sharp and the Brawler ain't no slouches. Absolutely not. The World Wrestling Federation set for a big night of action this Saturday night at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. And there, the Hart Foundation will take on the Shadows. And here comes the big nasty Rhino. And the brawler thought that was going to keep the anvil down. Evidently he has not done his homework. And here he comes, the excellence of execution. Working over that leg, no doubt he's thinking sharpshooter. Almost got him. There's the sharpshooter. And sharp in to make the save. Look at the power of the anvil. He kicked out. Hey, that's impressive resilience from the brawler. I thought that was it for sure. And Brett looking for the sharpshooter once more. And again, Sharp breaks it up. Sharp keeping his team in it. How long is the official going to allow this? Hey, he has five seconds. Let's go now to the event center where Sean Mooney is standing by with details on WrestleFest coming to the Superdome. Fans in New Orleans and the Louisiana area, the World Wrestling Federation is coming to the Superdome for WrestleFest on Thursday night, December 26th. That's right, the night after Christmas. See the Junkyard Dog square off against the natural Butch Reed. See the legendary Mr. Wrestling 2 go up against Dick Murdoch. 
and confirmed in the main event what promises to be an incredible tag team encounter, World Wrestling Federation champion Hulk Hogan to team with the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, as they go up against Rowdy Roddy Piper and Cowboy Bob Orton. They say, Roddy, you gotta go to New Orleans. I say, where's that? Mm -hmm. They say, it's Cajun country. I say, not interested. Then they say, you get to fight Hulk Hogan. I say, I'm there. They say, you get to fight Andre the Giant. I say, I'm there. They say, Roddy, you don't have to do it alone. You, you can have Ace as a tag team partner. Are you kidding me? We got ourselves a fight. And more importantly, we got ourselves a good time. Stay tuned in the coming weeks for more information on WrestleFest coming to the Superdome in New Orleans on December 26th. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for one fall. Currently in the ring to my right, hailing from New Haven, Connecticut, weighing 245 pounds, Jerry Allen. Magnificent Morocco moving out against Jerry Allen. And Allen in control in the early going. WrestleFest on December 26th in the Superdome in New Orleans, and what a colossal tag team match. World Wrestling Federation champion, the Hulkster, and the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, to meet Rowdy Roddy Piper and the ace cowboy, Bob Orton. I think the magnificent Morocco is in a bad mood tonight, and he's taking it out on Jerry Allen. might have been better served staying down. Jerry Allen is not a quitter, Jess. He ought to be. Yeah. Raw brute strength from the Magnificent One. There's that nerve hole.
Let's go now to Ken Resnick, who is standing by with the Hulkster. This Saturday night, the Spectrum in Philadelphia, the World Wrestling Federation champion Hulk Hogan will put his title on the line against the 450-pound one-man gang. Then, on December 26th at the Superdome in New Orleans, the Hulkster will team with the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, to face the team of Rowdy Roddy Piper and Cowboy Bob Orton. Well, you know, oh, Killer Ken, it turns me on to think about teaming with my idol, the one man I look up to figuratively and literally, Andre the Giant, and getting it on with Piper and the Cowboy in the Superdome, then hitting Bourbon Street, and seeing just how much damage we can do. It'll be a nice Christmas present, but I can't focus on that now, man. Because you see, speaking of giants, on Saturday night in Philly, I got a giant on my hands. I've seen the damage you've done, one-man gang. I've seen you and Slick laugh at the fines and the suspensions. Well, I don't think you're going to be laughing in the spectrum, brother. Pick on someone your own size. I guess I'm close enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for one call. Introducing first, led by his manager, the Crusher of Style, Flick, from Chicago. This man, I don't know if I just do this, and I know I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to jump in as a tail, the same old story, and I'm going to get a ball for the door. This is a slick dog talking at your money. You know, the next time we see the one-man gang on Superstars, he may very well be the heavyweight champion of the world. Indeed, but he better not look past Coco Beware. This is a tough test for the big gang. Can you imagine if Coco scores the upset here and then the gang beats Hogan for the title? Coco will jump right to the top of the number one contenders list. Indeed, anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation, and that's why every match presents opportunity. The gang is just too big. He's just too powerful for Coco. Look at that. Just tossed him like he was nothing. Every time Coco tries to lock up with the gang, he's just getting swatted away. Coco needs to move quickly. He needs to fly a little. Stay out of the gang's reach. Unfortunately for Coco, right now the gang has him firmly where he wants it. Now maybe Coco's opening. Big mistake from Coco, huge major mistake.
up top. Yes, nailed it. He gave him too much recovery time. When you get on the gang, you stay on him. The gang punishing Coco. It's over. Credit where credit is due. Coco took a lot of punishment, but in the end, that weight just came down on him too many times. And when that happens, anyone would lose. And I do mean anyone. Well, we're going to find out this Saturday night in Philadelphia whether the Hulkster can withstand it. next week on the Superstars of Wrestling Demolition to meet the Bushwhackers. The Mighty Hercules will be here. As will Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Until then, for The Body, I'm Vince McMahon, thanking you for joining us here on the Superstars of Wrestling.